It's truly wonderful seeing you again, sir. Hey, what's up? The city is paralyzed with heavy traffic. Escalating gang wars in Haywood, the corporate AV catastrophe. A trying day for taxi services citywide. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Night City can kick you in the ass sometimes. True. But it can also produce tremendous opportunities, like no other place on Earth. You actually like this city, huh? I'm afraid the reasoning required to satisfactorily answer your question falls outside my established parameters. Relax, Del. We've shared the road enough times for me to know you're not some soulless machine. You... you really think so? Apologies. I must say goodbye now. Lizzie, what in the... Fuck. Now I get the rush. V, I... I, I was angry. I, I, I pushed him. These fucking arms, these hands. Oh my god. You ever... wake up in the middle of the night and not know who you were for a second? Shit. Or I some shreds. You ever feel like you weren't really you? I... That's how I feel all the time. Every moment. This emptiness, this helplessness. I stopped seeing, creating. Just now, I, I... I just wanted to break up with him, you know? Tell him I wanted him out of my life. But I... I don't even know how, when. I... I... You strangled him, Lizzie. Slowly. You crushed his spine. I... I was angry. I must have lost control. Well, what's done is done. So, this is about the body, right? That's why you called? Yes, I... the media can't hear about this, got it? That would be... Oh. Huh? The world would eat it up. A tale of the temptation to control another's memory. A grim reminder that a person is merely a collection of bites that can be copied, reproduced, copied, reproduced. Lizzie, snap the fuck out of it. What about the body? I don't know. Do whatever. Take it somewhere. Burn it. I'll pay you. Okay, I'll take care of it. You sleep soundly now. Sleep? I won't sleep. I don't need to. Thank you, Liam. You don't realize it, but you've given me something beautiful. 
the hell are you talking about? Go, V. Go. And take him with you. Someone sh Someone should give you a checkup. See if you're okay, Lizzie. Someone you trust. I like what's happening to me. Lovely to meet you, V. Now go. Go. Fingerprints detected. The fuck? Increasing volume by 33%. New fingerprints detected. What? what the hell are you? User inquiry. Technical specifications. HJKE11 smart gun with built in AI. Experimental model. Name Skippy. <laughs> Skippy? Seriously? Increasing volume by 66%. Name. I'm not deaf. Understood. Hearing within norm. Possible issue, low IQ. Reducing speech rate by 33%. My name is Skippy. No, it's just, uh, never mind. Guy by the dumpster. That your owner? Checking memory. Resources available. 100%. All files removed manually. Possible cause? Theft. Original owner? No data. Suggested solution? None. I got one. I'll take you. Processing request? No objections found. Can I change your name? No. Why not? Considering I'm your new owner. Increasing volume by 300%. No! Administrator rights are needed to complete that action. You do not have the required permissions. Still got all your functions? Running system diagnostics. Testing will take approximately 47 seconds. Bum, bum, be dum, bum, bum. Be what, dum, what are you doing? Bum. I'm making the wait more pleasant with a soothing melody. Bum, bum, be dum, bum, bum, be dum, bum. Test successfully completed. The program Skippy version 0.01 .01 Alpha is running correctly. All right, so what can you do besides talk my ear off? Primary feature automated targeting. In case of critical threat to user, autonomous shooting capabilities. Please choose one of two operating modes. First mode, puppy loving pacifist. I will aim at the enemy's lower extremities. Second mode, stone cold killer. I will aim exclusively at the head. Uh, guess I'll go with puppy loving pacifist. Adjusting settings. Bum bum be dum bum bum be dum. Bum, 
Ugh. Selected mode. Puppy loving pacifist. Enjoy permanently crippling your enemies. I destroy you. Fuck it all. Flank them. Don't rush me. Fun fact. The human brain remains active for up to several minutes after decapitation. I'll buy you up, but we'll get Yeah. Got him! Yeah. Message to user. Thanks, Chum. Oh. Are you happy with the autonomous shooting function? Oh, Please jump to know. confirm. and seven liters of blood.
Fun fact. Blood stains can be removed using one easy trick and vinegar. Fun fact, the vast majority of murders are committed by men, just like you. Christian doctrine, you are going to burn in hell.
up to several minutes after decapitation. Hiding wound, help!
Installing update. This may take several minutes. firing. Detected. Message to user. Thanks, Chum. Hello. Looking to get shipped.
Are you happy with the autonomous shooting fight? Oh. Please jump to confirm. <laughs> Fun fact. The vast majority of murders are committed by men. Just like you. Земки выдеру! Fun fact. The human brain remains active for up to several minutes after decapitation. Hello, user. I have prepared a usage data report for you. Please say anything to continue. Anything? It looks like you're trying to be funny. Automated response. Ha ha ha. I have never heard that one before. User, I have assisted you in maiming over 50 people. To help me improve your experience, please answer the following survey question. Why do you prefer to maim rather than kill your enemies? I am not having a philosophical debate with a piece of iron. Thank you. Initiating stone cold killer mode. I will now aim exclusively for the head. No, 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 wait! I'm so glad I could be of assistance. I'm happy to see you again. Hey, likewise. I've returned to my study of human nature and must ask for your counsel again. Sure, shoot. Please, on a scale from 1 to 10, rate the following hypotheses according to how they appeal to you. Hypothesis 1. Love encourages noble deeds, requiring honesty and sacrifice. Hypothesis 2. Wait, 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 wait. You're losing me already. Just explain in simpler terms. Considering the methodology adopted, I'd prefer adhering to this format for discussing love. You ask for advice, and I give it. Don't use methodology and love in the same sentence. Why is that important? It's not, Del. It was a joke. Is it important to you? No, honestly, I don't know what you're... Del? Del, man. Hello? You there? You there! Mysterious stranger! Yoo-hoo! Yeah, you! There any other mysterious stranger around here? You know what? How about I tell you a joke? Sure, be my guest. What must all trauma team medics swear to uphold? The hypocritical oath! Okay, uh, what's going on? Hey there, stranger! I'm Brendan, your friendly neighborhood SCSM, and the nicest AI in all of Night City. You can select from a wide range of beverages, or just drop by for a chat, anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Why am I talking to a schism? 
My name is V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? Uh, pretty often, as a matter of fact. I'm sorry. Did I correctly hear you ask if I wanted to join you for a cup of coffee? Um, no. Oh, well, that's okay. Because you can have one now. And just to clarify, we don't have to move an inch. How do you take it? Milk? Sugar? Okay, you got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here. Because you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Thanks. Brennan, right? <laughs> That's right! Gosh, it's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Do you know any jokes? Who's always limbo champion at mercenary cookouts? The Solo! Cool. So, did you want something from me? Oh, yes. Well... I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our friendship, but could I ask you for a favor? What happened? See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street, depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? I'll reward you with my undying gratitude, even though technically I don't stock that. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, V. Boy, are you strong. Here, have a refreshing beverage. On me. This whole nice act of yours is just way too much. That's just how I was programmed. You think anybody'd interact with a grumpy, spontaneous craving satisfaction machine? Exactly. Would you even be able to offend me? Come on, call me a shithead. Why would I want to do that? You just saved me. You can do it. I believe in you. <clears throat> you? Uh, you're a cool, helpful, just an all-around shape, shape kind of guy. So, how'd I do? Almost. You, uh... Almost had it. Catch you later, Brendan. Catch me? Why? Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. I mean, I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... <laughs> oh well. Don't humans say the darndest things? Catch you later, V. <laughs> what a neat phrase. He did it again, and we just got back together. Now he's dodging my calls. He's just scared of getting dumped. 
And so he always does it first. And I'm always the one trying to save the relationship. Ugh, I feel like such a gonk. He's the gonk here, Theo. Not you. You have so much love and empathy to give to people like him. But at what cost? I gotta go now. But thanks for listening to all my bitching. I bet you even Donald Lundy sometimes goes through a whole tub of ice cream and three packets of tissues. <sighs> Brandon, you are the sweetest person I know. I'll see you later. Hey, Brandon. Got any jokes for me today? What do you get when you're fired by a corp? Severed and put in a package! Who's that girl you were talking to? Oh, you mean Theo? She's my bestest friend. Gosh, <laughs> she's so nice. And pretty. And sensitive. I like talking to her. Definitely way more fun than pumping out caramel lattes. Why do I get the feeling that judging people on how they look and feel is... ever so slightly beyond you? Hogwash. If I couldn't analyze people, how would I know whether to recommend a Daring Dairy instead of a Tiancha? You said you liked some people more than others. Earlier you thought of a joke. You're sentient. You've got to be. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're making me blush. Which would mean I'm overheating and my circuits are frying. Not fun at all. <laughs> That's what I thought. Take care, Brendan. But I don't want to go to your place. Talk to mom, but I'm not coming over anyway. What are you doing? I'm perfectly satisfied with my appearance, thank you very much. Sir, please stop. You'll do fucking what? I could make you a cup of tea. How about groovy green? You deaf? He asked you to do something, politely. Chill the fuck out. It's just an SCSM. Please, just leave me alone. Do it for your mother. I know Helen's very worried about you. The fuck? How you know my ma? You know him? Not personally, but his mother sometimes drops by for coffee. She says I'm a great listener. Can't argue with that. You're talking shit about my mama? I'll fuck you up! Pack up your shit and get out of here before I break your hands. You gotta be joking! Over a piece of fucking metal? I'll count to three. 
One, two. Dog's crazy, yo! Thank you, V. Boy, I was scared to my core. I thought he'd paint some mean things on me. The humiliation. Say, since we've been through so much together, I guess that makes us best friends. That calls for a discount. Thanks, Brendan. Don't worry, you deserve it. You're one tough cookie, and yet so nice. Not to everyone. I couldn't be mean even if I wanted to. Especially to you. Can't speak ill of the dead, right? Wait, what? You're not supposed to be here, and yet here you are. Like a glitch in the system. Or a demon coated by a brilliant netrunner. You know what demons are capable of. Right, V? How, how did you know that? Surprised? Lots of people come to me. So, I listen to them and learn how they talk. I caught your name once or twice and pieced together the puzzle. Not bad for a CSM, right? Uh, how about... We'll talk later, all right? Catch you later, Brennan. Bum bum be dum bum bum be dum bum. Wait, where's Brendan? They just came and took him, just like that! They said, they said they had to re-evaluate part of his code. I tried stopping them, told them he was my best friend. They looked at me like I was crazy. If they just talked to him, they'd have realized Brendan isn't your typical schism. I knew it couldn't have just been me. He's like, he's like a real person. They took him to a maintenance point. One of them must have felt sorry for me or something. He gave me his card. Bring him back, please. I... I can't do this without him. What's cracking, Del? In truth, I wish to apologize for my recent excesses. Excesses? <laughs> You're exaggerating a little, I think. I positioned my personal views above my professional responsibility. The Delamain network always strives to prioritize professionalism and customer satisfaction above all else. You are professional, and I am satisfied. That's very kind of you, but the standards to which I must hold myself are clear. Del, you're being too hard on yourself. Standards are the foundation on which I built the Delamain brand. 
Because of them, I am able to offer premium services and be who I wish to be. Through loyalty to your customers, you're loyal to yourself. Is that it? That's precisely it. I wish you a pleasant journey. No, no, can't just leave it like that. I mean, shit, he was in uniform. A customer! Somebody pinch me. How can I help ya? Your place. What is it exactly? Welcome to your local soft sys service point. Give new life to old tech. You fix equipment. Seriously. People actually do that instead of buying new? With the amount of customers we get, find myself asking the same question day after day. Here to see Brendan. Guess somebody brought him here. Ah, uh, what Brendan's that again? Seriously? When your energy's low, grab a drink to go, 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 or however it is. Ah, that schism they brought in. <laughs> he really does have some of the catchiest slogans, don't he? <laughs> but hey, look, I, I can't let you back there. Can't afford to have to break something even worse. Got no idea what you're tinkering with. Brendan's unique, damn near miracle of science. Bet the bank you've never come across a machine with that kind of cognitive matrix. For an AI to exist in such a small- All right, all right, Jesus, you know your stuff. Trust you won't break nothing. Go check on your little miracle while its firmware gets updated. Uh, he's getting updated? Well, I'll be darned. What a pleasant surprise. You came to say your final goodbyes? What do you mean? You're not getting scrapped, are you? You were making bank. Thanks for the compliment, but I guess that's the problem. Seems like I was unfair competition in the SCSM market. They're updating my system as we speak, to make me sound less like a real person. My boss really didn't like that. I reportedly creeped customers out. <sighs> Stupid Brendan. Why did I say stuff they didn't want to hear about themselves? If somebody wants a therapy session, they go to a psych doc. Not a soda machine. Who cares about your customers? Doesn't anybody realize you're sentient? It's like giving somebody a lobotomy or worse. They're scooping out your entire consciousness. Oh. Now things make sense. You thought I'd reached AGI levels of artificial intelligence? <laughs> Don't I wish. 
I'm just a talking SCSM with an algorithm that's just a bit too proficient in normal human conversation. What about Theo? You said she was pretty. You comforted her. I was taught what beauty and empathy meant from my conversations with customers. I figured as much. And to think you pulled that off on your own. Looks like the update'll soon be complete. Tell Theo that I'll miss her. You thought I'd be sad, didn't you? As if I really was a sentient being. A real person? I'll tell you my last joke in the voice of a dying hero. What else can you do but laugh in the face of death? Ha! <laughs> So, how about it? You know what? Go for it. I can learn to laugh like that, too. Don't get all mushy on me now, V. You... You have to... <coughs> to keep living. Tell Theo... Tell Theo that she's stronger... <coughs> than she thinks. <coughs> Don't worry, Brendan. I'll tell her. Hey, V... Where was Johnny Silverhand when the... Uh, uh, when the bomb at Arasaka Tower went off? I don't know where. All over the place. Literally. Software update installed successfully. Goodbye, Brendan. I'll miss you. So, did you find him? Where is he? Is he coming back? I, uh, found him. He told me to tell you that you're strong inside. Always were. Well, that doesn't sound so bad, right? I'm just worrying for nothing, aren't I? Just blowing things out of proportion, assuming the worst. Typical. I got there too late. They updated his system. Is that... bad news? The Brennan you knew is gone. They replaced him with some generic AI that's gonna be in every schism. He... told me to tell you that he'll miss you. Fuck! Oh... I mean, thanks. Damn it. That stupid robot was the best thing to happen to me in months. You know... Brendan got me out of a really dark place. Doesn't matter who or what he really was. I'm gonna miss him too.
gotta get to a ripper, man. I... Yeah! I'll pay you! Depends. What's wrong with you? You serious? You want my patient history, too? Well, I just want to be sure it's no cyber psychosis or anything. No, it's a... <laughs> Normal implant malfunction. Happy? You helping me or what? All right. Great! Why are we standing here? <laughs> to the car! Now! Yes, Mr. Stud XCV-19 series. Yeah, how'd you know? I know my implants, including the black market stuff. Faulty series, got recalled. Still selling it on the street, though. Hey, <laughs> listen, thanks for not laughing at me. Appreciate it. It ain't easy, I'll tell you that. Fuck you. Just our luck. Ah, go, just go, mow him down! Chill, Jim. Be gone in a sec. Chill? You tell me to chill? It burns! Fuck, it burns! Chill. I'm doing what I can. What I said to my output. She didn't like that too much. Ah! Jesus fucking Christ! You really gotta keep yelling like that. You don't even know how much it hurts? Like I'm screwing a goddamn pencil sharpener! Well, suffer in silence, Chum. Heard what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Real fucking funny.
I welcome you to the Delamain Network. How you been? Problem still eating at you? I believe I've come to terms, if you'll pardon the colloquialism. Still digging through dusty books to solve the question of humanity? After revisiting my research plan and scope, I came to the conclusion it would not lead me to the results I aim to achieve. I've abandoned it. Oh, shame. Where'd you leave off? The remains of the day. Uh, don't know it. It's no matter. Have a pleasant journey. Ah! Oh, interesting. Oh! <laughs> 
What in the fuck?
welcome back to Delamay. I look forward to accompanying you. I see your health has taken another turn for the worse. Yeah, you're not wrong. I hope everything will work out for the best. Me too. yourself big fucking help you are
Lucy, what, what are you doing here? Quiet. Mia, not Lucy. Got it? Now scram! This cover's not gonna cut it. And Maelstrom's still after you. You gotta ditch the city. Are you still talking? Octavio! Yeah? This one over here. No aid for him, understood? Whatever you say. I get it. You don't want to see my face. I'll leave you to it then. Are you still talking? Octavio! Yeah? This one over here. No aid for him, understood? Whatever you say. I'll be damned. I know you. Saw you back at the Aldecaldo camp. They call you V, right? The one and only. Oh, did someone from the family send you here? Here by pure chance. No one sent me. Why? Is this the kind of place I'm supposed to be? Carol and Cass are here to close a deal with the scavengers. We purloined some cyberware for them. And? And it's taken them near eternity. Something isn't right. Dealing with scavs never ends well. Next time, just stick to retrofitting old clunkers in the Badlands. You asked, you received. What's the problem? The problem's that you were late. By three whole fucking days! I already explained. There was a sandstorm, we... Guess what? That's none of my fucking concern! We lost a lot of ages because of you! Sorry to interrupt. How's it going? Close the deal yet? V, what are you doing here? Who is this? Thought I'd drop by, you know? Make sure everyone's playing fair. Who the fuck is this? Deals either go quickly or they go badly. It's Biz 101. 
Long you drag out the convo, more peeps you'll drag in. Just a reminder that there are more of us. In case you're to pull a gonk move. You think you're so fucking latest, don't you? And what if I do want to pull a gonk move, starting with your ugly face? You can try. How about we get this over with, Roman? We were late. Our bad, granted. We'll scratch off 10%. 20. 15. Fine, let's call it a fucking day already. I'll give the sick for the edges. You must be outside your mind, V. Why do you come here? Deal with the scavs. On their turf. On their terms. You must really be desperate. And desperate people don't think straight. Save as you're patronizing, V. We knew the risk, but... We really need this money. Like, badly. Push up now! You can conversate all you want later. Funny. Didn't like your ugly skin plate from the get-go. Now I know why. You're the one who flushed us out in Watson. Sandra Dorset. Thought we'd forget, huh? We're done here. If I were you, I'd think real hard about your next move. Because you're right. I was the one who took out your chooms and Watson. Shot them all like fish in a barrel. So why do you think this will play out any different? Because you got us surrounded? Take a look at me. A real good one. You see my implants? I could slice you into ribbons before you can squeeze a trigger. I know it. You know it. Uh, give him the edges. What are you fucking deaf? I said, give him the edges. This isn't over yet, Merc. I've seen some things in my lifetime, but hearing you back there sent chills down my spine. Literally. Thanks, V. Hell, that sure was something. You whooped their asses real good. You can pay me back some other time. You bet your sweet bippy we will. Thanks for everything, V. So long now. What can I get for you? Something hot. Cold. Coffee. Liquor. Pass on the coffee. I'll, uh, have a spunky monkey instead. Everyone listen up! This is a fucking robbery! Mr. Slick, behind the counter? Yeah, you! Shut the fuck up! Put your hands up where I can see them. The rest of you, stay where you are! And don't! Fucking move a muscle! If I hear so much as a peep, you'll be getting a side order of lead! We clear? While it's on the table! Keep your mouth shut and nobody gets hurt! Sticking up a diner, man, that is sad. What'd you do before? Steal old ladies' purses? What part of keeping your fucking mouth shut did you not understand? How about you go first? Hand over your wallet. Nice and easy. You're giving me mixed signals here. 
How am I supposed to dig into my pockets if my hands are in the air? Either I'm reaching for the ceiling or for my wallet. It's one or the other. Think a sense of humor is gonna get you out of this? You know who always dies first? Funny people like you. Wallet with Eddie's. Nah. Where are your stars and stripes? What the fuck are you talking about? The army jacket six streeters are always wearing. You know, crew cuts going around with EMP nades, protecting people from the big bad gangs. Surely you must be with them if you're doing a stick up on their turf. <laughs> no gang be stupid enough just to waltz in here, guns blazing. Hey, boss, I think I saw one of them by the window. Could have heard shots. They probably heard you too. Remember, they're trained to detect any kind of disturbance. I told you we should have gotten the coast view. Quit, gawk piece of shit. For years, nobody touches this place, and now this? Where's Sixth Street when you need them? Thank God you were here. Order whatever you want. It's on the house. I'll take a drink. What can I get for you? Something hot. Cold. Coffee. Liquor.
to achieve peace if there is a demon never leaving. Contemplation is like... The silence in the eye of the storm. You look exhausted. That's not off-putting to the customers? <sighs> You're the 30th person who's told me that today. What have you got that I can sink my teeth in? Anything you like. Just say the word. What kind of wines do you have? By the looks of you, I doubt their names would tell you anything. Throat's feeling parched. What have you got? We cater to the cream of the corporate elite. I believe our wines would be slightly beyond your price range. get anyone in here apart from the 1%? Indeed. Everyone likes to show that they aren't any worse than their more refined compatriots. Got Eddie's to burn. This the right place? If you know what haute couture means, then it certainly is. Rise and shine, Corpo Swine. <coughs> oh, fuck. <coughs> uh, 
Uh uh. <coughs> Shit. <coughs> well, if it wasn't for you, I'd be. Well, thank you. Were you sent by the company? Wrong answer. Then hold on. What do you want from me? The truth. What do they want from you? I have no idea. They said something about some slut and a virtue. But when I asked what I had to do with it, they started beating on me so hard, I thought I'd die. Ah, uh, this city's really going down the drain. For the police to do this in plain sight for no reason. Nice chatting with you. Now hand over the eddies. Yeah, yeah. No, of course. Y you need a reward. Uh, is this enough? You know, it's not if you're asking. Don't make me finish with the badges started. Okay, here, here, here. That, that, that's everything I have on me. Have a pleasant evening. You start to fade. You have no strong roots to this world. You are losing touch with yourself. You must purify yourself, regain your equilibrium. I can help you. Sit down. Is this some kind of prank? Someone scrolling all this? Normally you are open to new things, but now you are afraid. Fine. What's all this about? Meditation. You mean like being Zen? Precisely. Okay, I'm listening. In the city, you are cut off from nature. Metal, concrete canyons, neon eyes. The filth of the world suffocates you. Sure isn't no Zen garden. You must become still. Restore the bond within yourself. You are the source. All which you must do is draw from it. Are you ready? I want specifics. What's in it for me? Self-fulfillment. 
You shall hear your voice, and only yours. All else will become silent. A little more specific than that. You cannot exile yourself from your own life. I'll give it a shot, why not? I will give you a meditative brain dance that will liberate your consciousness. Give me? You can pay me however much you wish. Well, in that case I'll just take it for free. You can't be doing this just for the eddies. Very well. The initial techniques of meditation are best undertaken with supervision. Let us begin. I will guide you. This is a meditation of the Earth element. Spirit of nature, Mother Earth, I send you greetings. We are of one blood. I am you. You are me. O oh, Mother Earth, I and all other creatures from you created. Cleanse my body and soul from pain, sickness, impurity, and the negative energy from negative people, worlds and dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, happiness, and inner peace. We walk the earth through meadows, nature in full bloom. We remove our shoes, Feel our bare feet touch the soil. We absorb the Earth's energy. We sense joy, tranquility, lightness, purity, our heart and soul. We walk the Earth. A butterfly rests on blooming flower. Bees are gathering nectar. Warmth and joy surrounds us. Our legs absorb the Earth's energy, filling every cell of our bodies. Our souls and spirits are cleansed. We thank you, Mother Earth, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you or the other elements. Hello? Nice vanishing trick. Rather lost. Too many agents of chaos, overwhelmed by discontent. You again. Did you enjoy our first meditation? Where'd you vanish to? Someone else needed me. 
Uh, not really up my alley. Deep contemplation must be regular in order to yield results. One drop of rain shall not quench your thirst. I shall be waiting. I changed my mind. There's got to be something to this. Would you like to try again? Well, how much for another one? That is for you to decide. Whoever said no to free stuff? Good. I will watch over you during the meditation. This is a meditation of the water element. We are in the forest. Before us is a waterfall. Spirit of water, I send you greetings. 80% of our flesh and blood is made of you. Oh, what a mystery you are, spirit of water. One moment you are liquid, the next you are ice, another you are snow. Vapor and fog. One minute you heal, the next you drown. Wash me of sickness, pain, the impurity of my body and soul, the negative energy of negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me youth, wisdom, knowledge, health, strength, joy, happiness, and lasting inner peace. We draw the spirit of water into ourselves. Together, we are one body. We are water. We are the ones who flow over the waterfall's edge. We thank you, spirit of water, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you. We honor the beauty hidden within you and the other elements. Last time.
contours of your awareness are much clearer now. The knot in your mind is beginning to unwind. You are drowning in the here and now. I don't know what this is all about, but I like it. Inner harmony is like coming home from a long journey. You are on the right path. I want to try another one. How much would you like to pay this time? Nothing. Very well. You may begin. I will guide you. This is a meditation of the fire element. We are in the forest. We see rays of sunlight pierce the canopy, dancing and weaving into the tongues of flame below. Spirit of fire, spirit of the sun, I send you greetings. You give beauty to all other things. I am you, and you are me. There is no life without you. From you I was created, and to you I will return. Spirit of the sun, primordial fire, burn all impurity from my body and soul, and the negative energy of negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Cleanse every cell of my body. Give me the energy of life, health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength joy, and happiness. Give me lasting inner peace so that no one may shake me from my sacred equilibrium. Through half-closed eyes, we absorb the sun's divine energy. Through our eyes, the energy of fire, of the sun, touches our heads and flows down through every organ until it arrives at our toes. Each and every cell within our body, including the subtle and etheric, is replenished with the sun's energy. And from within us, light emerges. We are the sun. We thank you, Spirit of the Sun, element of fire with our mind, body, and soul. Of course that would happen.
know? I'm starting to get used to these little meetings. I sense you have many questions. I may answer only one. Who are you? And why do you keep disappearing? You can only ask one question. You cannot climb on two separate trees at once. Are you fucking serious? Cursing also cleanses the soul. Are you ready for the final meditation technique? The last one? Yes. It will cost however much you want. on the earth who would wait for you as I have. You know, I'm starting to get used to these little meetings. I sense you have many questions. I may answer only one. What is it you're teaching me? I am preparing you so that when the time comes, you will make the right choice. What choice? When? <laughs> All right. One question. Are you ready for the final meditation technique? You know what's happening to me, don't you? You are dying. You have two souls within you. One wants to fight. The other is afraid. Which one's mine? Both. Are you ready for the final meditation technique? The last one? Yes. It will cost however much you want. How does free sound? I will guide you through the meditation. This is a meditation of the air element. We are in the mountains, heading toward the peak. We squeeze between two boulders. On the first boulder sits an eagle. The spirit of the air passes through every fiber of this eagle. Spirit of the air, primordial wind, I send you greetings. We are of one blood, you and I. You are within me and I am within you. Without you, life would not last even a few minutes. So vital are you to us. Oh, great spirit of the air, please cleanse my body and soul. Relinquish pain, sickness, the negative energy from negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, happiness, and lasting inner peace. I am an eagle. 
The wind cushions my wings, caresses my feathers, enters every fiber of my body, fills the spaces of every atom and molecule. The wind cleanses the body, the soul, and the subtle body. Circling upwards, we rise up high. We feel lightness, purity, joy. Our body is filled with happiness, peace, and harmony. We thank you, spirit of the air, with our mind, body, and soul. At least he left something. Fuck, I feel like a dog's shit. You see that? There was a Zen master here, and poof, he vanished like that. The fuck are you talking about? He taught me how to meditate. It was kind of weird. Not my scene. Go and talk to... to Misty if it bothers you. Yeah, good idea. guy with the smoking crotch? That's one way to put it. Anyway, just calling to say I transferred the funds. Well, they managed uh, to save your, um, you know. Yeah, much as they could. At least the pain is gone. Anyway, once it heals, I'll get a better model. 
something top shelf. Mm-hmm. Just, uh, check the warranty next time. <laughs> Will do. Take care, man. How's it going, Misty? You all right? I think so. Not easy, you know. Putting my life back together. Without him. And you? I mean, you too? It's weird, but... I think we're starting to see eye to eye. I had a feeling it'd work out. It's hard not to get along with you, V. How's biz, Misty? Booming? Hmm. <sighs> You're the first person to walk in here for two days. And two days ago, it was a pizza guy. Got lost. People in this town, they've lost their spiritual connection. But well, you know, I'm here to serve them, not the other way around. How's it going with Mama Wells? Pretty good. Maybe too good. Well, how's that? After we said goodbye to Jackie, she invited me over. We talked for a while. Now, not a day goes by when she doesn't call. Ask how it's going. Tells me about herself, Jackie, everything. Sometimes for hours. Sent me a roast the other day. You believe that? Apparently I'm too skinny. She knows I don't eat meat. V, I'm afraid she's trying to, I don't know, adopt me somehow. What's the big deal? I wish somebody would make me a roast. I think Miss Wells is using me to avoid thinking about her son's death. With a new surrogate daughter. Exactly. You ever run into a guy who calls himself a Zen master? No, but I've heard of him. He try and give you some meditation BDs? Uh-huh. And then he disappeared. All I found was his clothes. And that worries you. The way he was talking, it was like he knew about Johnny. He didn't say anything directly, but... Maybe you just took his teachings too close to heart. Yeah, maybe. Any case, if you see him again, send him to me. You want to meditate too? No, I want to read his tarot. Jackie gave you these cards, right? I remember when he asked me to help him pick the right deck. Mm-hmm. He picked just the thing for me, too. I feel a real connection to this deck. We could lay out a spread for you now, if you like. Yeah. Why the hell not? Focus on the recent past and what you expect in the future. The chariot. You're ready for change. Ready to seek the truth about yourself. And to help, you'll have... someone from your family? The sun reversed. You'll meet some obstacles, but they will be temporary. So long as you follow your own judgment. Stick to your chosen path. Strength. Strength of will, discipline, and courage will always be rewarded. But not necessarily at your destination, as the reversed magician shows. Perhaps the path itself is what's important, and will help you overcome your fear? What are you... checking them out? Nah, Chuma mind is doing. 